Hello, this is HG Daily, and welcome back to Let's Play Mystic Arc! Since last time, I farmed well over 70,000 platinum, although I really only need 60 for the way I'm gonna be spending it, but it's there. I'm not gonna use it all right now, but something to keep in mind there. So now, once you've gotten some platinum, well, first things first, once you get the monster figurines, you can exchange them to get some prizes. So let's see what we got here. Flying Ray, you don't have to have that one, but I got lucky enough to get one in the ocean of the first world there. And the silver figurine sells for a decent amount of money. It's purely just an item to sell for money. That's all it's good for. And let's see what else we got. Okay, Goblin. Yeah, we can get the Goblin suit, which has... It's, it's a exclusive armor for Reshine. It has 50% resistance to fire, ice, and thunder attacks, and 30% to nature attacks. Now, in addition to the figurine, you also need the platinum to exchange for the item, and you can get some really, really good stuff here for doing that. You got a Neo Beetle here you could have found in the Great Tree dungeon. And the beetle suit that has 60% resistance to fire magic and 30% resistance to all the other elements. That'll be pretty good for either the main character or Tokyo. And we might as well exchange the toll for something because I'm not going to use it anymore. I only used it to get my initial bankroll of platinum there. But no, I think that's good. By the way, all body armor has at least 30% resistance to all elements. So anything like the goblin suit or the beetle suit that has more than 30% resistance to an element is really, really good. Unfortunately, they don't tell you all that information in-game. The only reason I know that is because I found... Well, I didn't find it, but... Uh, Theo found a Japanese website that had the information hacked out of the game. But once you know what has that elemental resistance, it really helps a lot. And by the way, if you're playing ahead of me and you find an even stronger piece of body armor for Reshine there, do not sell the Goblin Suit because its elemental resistances are greater than most of the other equipment that she can get. And you might want to bring the popcorn today, viewers, because we've got plot to get through today, or puzzle solving, or things like that. No real monsters to kill today. Now, if you recall from last time, the fireplace was telling us that we need to find a music box in order to get to the next world. And here it is. So let's see what we got here. Do I just touch it to make everything go black or what? Ah, oh, okay, I need to wind the handle then, right? Nice. If only there were an item that would let me get the handle unstuck. There it is! So, yeah, whenever you need to go into the next world, you're going to need to use whatever arc you got from the previous world in order to, well, unlock it. Ah, nice little music they got going on there. Okay, so once you wind the handle, touch the music blocks, and we get fuzzy logic, I guess. And go into the third world. So, let's see what we got here. Oh, no, no, I don't want to do that right now. But yeah, that box there, that's how you get out of this world. Nuts. A locked door! Did I just warp into a jail cell? Nuts. Hmm. Okay, well, I don't see how that's useful to me, but okay. Oh, I guess someone didn't put the books back for some reason. Hmm. Okay, well, one thing I do want to do is... Let's see. Let's get... Where is he? Yeah, let's get Kamalu out here. 
because I'm going to want to give him that intelligence seed in a moment. Let's see what we got here. Mana jar, huh? Well, that's a pretty powerful MP restoring item. And these are the ingredients you need in order to make it. Hmm. Okay, well, so that's something to keep in mind there. And, well, fortunately, we got plenty of empty bottles. And let's see what we got here. This is the jar that has the jam in it to make the item. I wonder if that's raspberry jam. Probably not. There's only one man who would dare give me the raspberry. Now, by the way, if you're playing ahead of me and you get those three ingredients to put in the jar, do not take it out with an empty bottle because there's another ingredient that can make the item even better. Or a more powerful version of the item. And we get a, another elemental damaging item here. Might as well save here so that we can warp around and everything okay. And I want to do a hard reset so that way I can maximize the stat gain that I will get out of the intelligence seed to give to Kamuwu. He will get some use eventually, it's just he's not that good early on. Later on, it's different. Hey, all right. Well, let's see what else we can find around here. Damn kids, get off my lawn! If we even have a lawn here. Oh, sure, why not? I guess someone forgot to put it back, huh? That's weird. And what do we got here? Take what? The whole plant? Now, just a book that we got there, but if you do it again... Hey, I'll write a leaf. That's one of the ingredients they were talking about there. Kind of reminds me of Soul Blazer a little bit. Let's see, if we go over here, we can find a hidden treasure. And let's see how good that one is. Where are we? Oh, I thought it was an oak staff. wonder why they translated it differently there. Mm. Well, it is a type of staff, so we might as well give it to Maesia there. There's nothing else up here. Let's see, there's one more treasure other than, like, key items that you can get here. Ha ha. So what's going on? Where are the kids? Are they invisible? Well, we got another book that someone threw down into the well for some reason. I don't know why, but okay. Okay, that's the last of the treasure we can get in whatever this place is. Someone just leave, like, fish just lying out on the table there or something? I don't know. But I do know that we got the fourth book, and that's all the books that we need there. Okay, so now, but, well, okay, you might have noticed there, the name of this place is Blind Alley. So, yeah, let's just work back here, so that way we can put the books back where they belong. And as long as I'm here, let's see, we got that leaf from earlier, so we might as well put it in here just to clear the inventory space. And don't worry about it, the game will remember where or what items you put in there, so you don't have to do it all at once. Okay, let's see, what do we got here? Where, where'd the books go? Ah, there we go, okay. What the? Ah. I'm not sure why it works that way, but okay. Well, essentially, you need to put the books in alphabetical order, or at least put the first two in the left bookshelf, and then put the other two into the right bookshelf. I suppose you could put them in in whatever order you wanted, as long as they're in the right bookshelf there. And that should be everything. Hey! hey. Well, let's see who locked me in this place anyway. 
Oh, no, I don't want to go down there yet. Or, not again, for now, right now. Are you talking to me? I'm not a kid. I would think I'm a fully grown adult. Nuts. Remember that for later, viewers. That's how you get out of the whole town. But, yeah, as you can see, we can't get through it right now. Um, well, yeah, I'm an adult. So... Um, first time I've heard of that name, but okay. Yeah, I kind of noticed that with Vince making fun of that girl who lost her hat. Oh, um, no more than I do. Wow, you got a lot of kids around here, huh? So who's in charge of this place? Where are the adults? Are there any adults around here? Spoiler alert! No! At least not in Blind Alley, anyway. Oh, okay. Well, maybe I should pay the manor a visit. See if they know anything about an arc in this world or something. Okay, how's it going? Oh, um, sure, why not? I guess I don't have anything better to do. I've been playing mini games for quite a while now. Oh, that must be the manor that they were talking about, huh? Oh, I suppose I am. Oh, sure, why not? Now, for this part, oddly enough, there's several ways that you can get the hat down from the tree there. So, let's see. Well, I'd probably have to climb up there to get it. Oh, well, do it anyway. Did you get it? Ah. Thanks. Now, let's give it one more try. Ha-ha! So, yeah, if you just climb up the tree three times, boom, you get the hat. Hooray! Let's see, there's a couple other ways we could do that. If you got the deck brush from the first world still. Why not? I'm gonna use it anyway. You want your hat back or not? So yeah, that's one way, another way to get the hat. It, ignore her complaints about it getting dirty or whatever. It has no impact on the plot if you did it that way. And the final way to get the hat out of the tree there, you could use a staff, any staff, it doesn't matter. It doesn't have to be the one we just found. And boom, we get our hat back. Hooray! Or well, her hat back, not ours. I don't wear a hat. Oh, well, you're welcome. Sure, why not? I don't think it matters who you talk to. They all say, let's just go play hide and seek, I guess. Something or other. But yeah, you do need to go through this in order to progress with the plot. Now let's take a look around. Yeah, you're not very good at this game, are you? I don't know. Whatever works for you. Oh. Uh, no, I don't think so. I think we're good. So, yeah. You gotta find all the kids and bring them back there. Against their will. Hmm. Well, I hear something going on, but nothing's happening. Well, someone's here. Gotcha. Ha ha. So yeah, all you need to do is just catch them like that, and then you're good. And for some reason, once you catch those two, now you can actually get a different response from this pot here. Well, 
maybe you shouldn't have used that as a hiding place then. I, I don't know. Call me crazy, but yeah, I wouldn't do that again. Let's see. Okay, we got two more to go. Hmm, looks like there's something back there. Man, just one pixel above the house there, huh? Oh, yeah, I suppose they're going back there. And let's see, one more. I think it was Anna, if I'm not mistaken. Now well, someone's getting a good night's sleep. Oh, okay, well, I'll see you over there. Not really much of a hiding place. I guess she just didn't really feel like playing, and she just wanted to sleep all day or something. I know the feeling. Okay, now, for this part, depending on who you talk to, it'll change how things move on from here. But if you just want to move on with the plot, and there's really no benefit to talking to anyone else instead. So, yeah, just talk to... I think that was Cynthia there, and then we can find a way to get out of this place. Ah, oh, so how do we do that? Oh, hey, hey all right. So yeah, that's all you need to do in order to actually get out of the place now. But actually, there's one other thing that I want to do. Yeah, we might as well go here now. I probably should have just warped to the save point. But, yeah, I do want to get out of here because, well, someone was asking me, H.C. Bailey, what was the point of Grape Village there back in Fruit World? It just kind of seemed like you uh, went there once for the boss fight and that was it. it. Nothing happened. It wasn't growing anymore or something. Well, once you've gotten that door unlocked with Vince there for... Whatever reason, that is the sequence trigger to getting Grape Village to fully develop into its third and final form stage of development. Whatever. So let's get back there. I can't warp directly to Grape Village, so I'll go to Pineapple Town since that's the next best thing we got available. Or the next closest location, at least. Wonder if they've gotten a new elder around here. Maybe they just took one of the couch potatoes. Let's see, there's nothing different in Pineapple Town. So let's just go to Grape Village. Hmm, can I make it? Yeah, I can make it. Ha ha! By the way, if you didn't get a goblin figurine, you could find them on the overworld there. The Neo Beetle was at the Great Tree. And, well, we got, well, yeah, the town's expanded. We got a whole bunch of new items that they sell here. Flame Pots might actually be useful because they can cast Firestorm, but the other ones, not really that good. I mean, modern perfumes, I guess, are okay, but MP usually isn't a big problem in the game. I mean, I'll take what I can get, but, yeah, I'm not going to go out of my way for it. Actually, let's not rest up at the inn yet. Oh, um, yeah, so it is. Grape's my favorite fruit flavor, too. Okay, let's see, what do we got here? We are already at full, so I don't need to... What is that? Or rest up at the inn. Oh, um, yeah, good for you guys. Nice to have some variety in your diet, I suppose. Oh, that is the best room? How does he sneak around like that? Doesn't really seem like the best room. It's not even the biggest. Oh, yeah, I suppose you gotta make more room or something like that. Okay, well, what do we got up here? Okay, how's it going? Ah, oh, nice. Yeah, I'm not really sure what the point of that is, but it's there. Okay, how's it going? 
Um, yeah, I suppose not. I've already gotten the best stuff in this world, but sure, let's do another little slider puzzle. This one is quite a bit trickier than the previous one there. It's random, just like the... What was that? Uh, just like the apple puzzle there. So it's a little tricky to get everything where you want it to go. Okay, let's see. I need to get this one up there. So basically what you want to do is get the upper left piece in place, get the upper right piece here, and then move that one over, get the middle piece, upper or middle upper piece in the middle there, and move that up so we got the top row going. Okay, so now I want the lower left piece to be in the middle left spot. And let's see. Okay, if I go... Okay, I need to move some stuff around a little bit. Hold on a sec. Okay, if we do that, I think that'll work. Okay, that's good. If we go like this. Ha-ha! There we go! So yeah, just solve the top row, then the left column, and then the other three pieces will probably fall into place there. And it's totally worth going out of your way to get back here, because we get the Mandarin Shell, which is the best piece of headgear in the game for Kamuwu there. Some other characters, that's their only piece of headgear that they can get. They don't get the full 15 defense that Kamuwu does, but if you're not using Kamuwu at the time, you might as well uh, give it to someone else. They, don't, they would only get like 10 defense out of it, but well, I'm better than sharp stick in the eye. And you definitely want to save here because way later in the game we're gonna need to come back here to do stuff and i would also like to sell whatever the excess items i got from the nervous breakdown mini game there so i've got a whole bunch of stuff i can get rid of and hold on to your healing items or mp restoration items power bottles you definitely want to hold on to a couple of those the Let's see, spell items, eh, probably not interested. I'll sell the longbow too. I'll just take care of all that stuff off screen there. But where do we find the mansion back in Children's World there? Find out next time on Let's Play Mystic Arc. This is H.G. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.